Hello and welcome to another video in our beginner train creation with Gaia. And in the last video we created this terrain. And in this video we'll start texturing the terrain and adding all of the river, lake and snowfall back into the terrain. So let's get started. So let's rename this construction graph. And let's move all of these nodes in a graph. Before we do it, let's take a FX node. What FX does is it's like an empty node but it has the post processing so you can apply post processing here but mostly we take FX because it's just a placeholder for a node. So let's make a portal around here and let's name it. This is our final output of the construction. We can connect it around here. Now we can move these into a new graph. Call this graph post. And let's change it color. In this graph, we are only applying the water and the snow. And we make a new graph for our textures. Before starting color, we would need uh, some of the mask for our uh, texturing purposes so let's take a flow mask and maybe this one this is the poji and from the river we would need the depth and surface and for the lake same we have lake lake this is mask so the first one is our output if we view it here this is our terrain output and these are our mask so as you can see this is the mask if you don't see anything which means that uh, this is not actually empty this is like lower values which does not make sense for us but uh, it certainly makes sense for the software because it actually uses the value of the pixel rather than the actual what we see so if we we'll auto level it this is what the mask looks like and we would need it in depth and we don't need to show and for snowfall let's say snow and nothing much Let's add the FX node here. Instead of uh, uh, connecting it to the construction, let's uh, connect it to the snowfall. So we get this snow here uh, with the river. Uh, the river will make this area flat. So we will put this as our, not actually this. Let's also take this and before the lake uh, we put the river and then make the lakes. This one changed because uh, the river is also carving out this area which comes under the height which we mentioned right here. So we may have to change this. From the rivers I adjusted the lakes around here so that of this area is visible the lake is going around here but uh, this this area is carved out by river so it won't matter much because we'll be adding this flow around here so don't have to worry about that so this is our final terrain we mark it as our underlay and let's start the texturing process so we'll bring a FX node and uh, apply our this is our final train here we'll thunderly let's put it around here the most basic uh, way to add a texture is to add a texture node and it will uh, take the slopes and some of the soil and uh, apply a texture for us automatically 
to get our color from texture we will put a set map node around here so set map uh, takes uh, automatic color from this we have around uh, 400 or 500 colors around here so let's take it you know, color which we like so something like this so this is the color we are getting in this is the most basic texture setup so from here you would go on and combine all of the different uh, set maps and uh, we create different textures let's say we only want one texture here we can always come back and uh, make it more complex let's pull fx here and let's call it base texture and let's make a portal around here I'm not sure if this is a bug but it will show us this sort of flattish type of texture around here but you don't have to worry about it uh, just go to the FX here and this is our texture and this is our uh, base terrain now let's add snowfall to it so for snowfall let's take a FX node and connect it to our so to connect uh, we take this input and drag it out and from the portals we will choose um, snowfall snow so this mask right so this is the mask we get so we don't have to uh, put set map because snow only has like so much variation so there is only white and black in snow so we'll do a clutter node so what clutter does it gives us a sort of gradient where we can apply color based on the gradient so we are putting it to default because we want white snow obviously so now we take a combine node and uh, first input for our combine will be our base texture and the second would be this uh, clutter right here and then we put blend 100% uh, 100% blend means all of this texture 0% means all of this base texture so we put 100% because we are going to mask it with this right here so we take this and put this in our mask so now we are getting this the snow is combined uh, with it perfectly because uh, of this mask so this is our snow now let's again make a portal to keep things clean drag it bottom and let's again fx node and put a portal here and let's call this snow texture this is our snow texture so why we are doing the fx node and putting the portal and not here directly is because in the future if we want to uh, change some of it here or maybe add some of it here uh, we don't have to make a new portal and remove it and make all of those connections back and back again so that's why we are using a fx so we can change and it will directly input in this and this is what we will see so this is our uh, first we did our base texture then we combined our snowfall now we will combine our rivers so again combine node and our first input would be snowfall so snow text and for our um, uh, reverse we will take a fx node and let's in the input let's connect it to the river mask which is uh, river depth right here now since we cannot see anything here we will auto level it so you can see it clearly so this, these are our rivers 
and similarly as a snow we will take a clutter here save it and for this clutter we will give it sort of a bluish color and let's make it white so that we can see it clearly so this is what our reverse would look like the simple color and now we will connect it here and similarly we will uh, use this river depth as a mask and put the blend to 100% and this is what our reverse look like so we have combined our base texture with our snow mask and our river next we will add the lakes into our final train so for that we will again fx node We'll make a portal around here and rename this as reverse now finally again we will take another combine and in our first input we will take reverse texture and uh, similarly we will take a fx take the lake depth and auto level it so we can see it clearly here these are our rivers and let's take a sealer and let's change the colors so this means uh, the white means this is our brightest parts so for our brightest part let's take uh, somewhat darkish blue and white for the terrain and in between we can take sort of like this bluish So this is okay, maybe they are not blending correctly here. So this is what we combine now blend with a hundred percent and now for our mask unlike the river node let's see here river node uh, gives us depth and surface but uh, the lake will give us additional hard mask for our lake so this is where our lake water will be so let's view it with the fx node and this mask is called lake lake this is a hard mask for where our water is so we can just put the mask here and this is our lakes combined now we will adjust the color so that it looks good so in the clutter we will pull this down close to the white just around here So we are getting some of the white on the shores um, and let's bring this down and maybe change the color a bit to blend better uh, right here this is our most basic uh, texturing for the terrain we'll be ending the video right here we have done our basic texturing in the next video we will add more complexity to our textures and create a final look that we can finally build an export 
Thank you for watching the video and I will see you next time.